let's talk shit. No, really. If you're stealth camping, there are no washrooms around. Um, during the day, you can always use public washrooms, but if nature calls in the middle of the night, or usually first thing in the morning, well, you have an issue you must deal with. I've been in forests in Europe where the entire areas were soiled with piles of feces and toilet paper. That's disgusting, and it's bad for the environment, and worse for the animals that live there. Everyone who travels probably travels with paper tissue of some kind. I like the moist ones. I keep them in a resealable plastic bag to which I've added some rubbing alcohol as a disinfectant. Don't use bleach. I'll tell you why later. If you're only urinating, try to find rocks or gravel. But if they're not available, try not to pee on vegetation as animals will be attracted to the salt and eat it. It may be that that plant is the only one of its kind in the world, or it may be poisonous. Either way, you might be affecting the time-space continuum. This episode's homework is to practice squatting. Yes, men too. If you are a world traveler, you probably already know that most of the world squats anyway. There are those among us who say that squatting helps loosen the bowels, and let's face it, most of us could use some help with that. I'm sure one of your parents has told you the difference between men and women. The Romans recognized this and penned the term noli contraventum urinare. Women also have always had to crouch anyway. By the way, if you find it difficult to squat, you can sit over a fallen tree or so they say, but I've never actually found one just the right height. You can hang on to a tree for balance, if that's what you need, or even squat with your back to a tree. Now, we are stealth campers, so we follow the leave-no-trace principles. Take out what you bring in. The only possible substitute to that is if we're at least 75 meters from water and the ground is diggable, in which case you can dig a cat hole at least 12 centimeters deep with one of these. What is a cat hole, you say? Watch a cat. Use a spade to dig a hole about the depth of the spade. Do this first. Now. To deliver bombs from an aircraft accurately, they use GPS and factors such as things as distance from the target and wind speed. Even then, they miss sometimes. It will require some practice to actually deliver your payload into the hole. Be prepared to scrape it in, so bring a stick and bury that too. Don't use the spade. Bury everything, including the soiled paper. Believe it or not, there are wild animals who eat shit. We call it coprophagus. Don't dig your cat hole or pee too close to your site. You don't want to walk through it. We have a word for that, too. Shit for brains. We don't have running water, so you can use those wet wipes to sterilize your hands. If you want to feel really clean and not carry two types of paper, use the wipes for cleaning yourself up. That's why you don't add bleach. Carry the soiled wipes out of the woods with you. Now one more thing. Make sure you don't get any on ya. To do that, some people remove their pants. Some people roll their pants up from the knees at both ends, but whatever you do, make sure you don't get any on ya. What's that smell? <laughs>